We may decide for a couple of different reasons to set a static IP address on our Kali Linux box as opposed to using DHCP. Number one, it's handy in a learning environment to know exactly what the IP address is that you're using. And secondly, if we're doing a penetration test, we probably don't want the first thing that comes out of our Kali Linux box is a DHCP request to the network it's trying to investigate, trying to find an IP address. In either case, the basic steps in getting an IP address set up are to number one, identify what IP address we want to use. And in our case, we're going to use the IP address of 192.168.1.109. And we'll specify a default gateway of .1 and a DNS server of .111 and also a backup DNS server of 8.8.8.8. .8 and then once we have it configured, we'll test it and we'll also take a moment to create a VMware snapshot of that virtual machine. So let's power up our Kali Linux virtual machine inside a VMware workstation by clicking on the Go icon, and then we'll click on the Span to Full Screen option right here. And we'll log in as root with the default password of T-O-O-R and press Enter. Now, there are a couple of different ways that we could use to change the IP information statically on this Kali box. We could go to the command line and get a text editor and find the files. The files involved would be if we go to the file system and do a PWD, which stands for present working directory, and we change directory over to slash Etsy slash network and press enter, and then use command ls to list the contents of this directory. This file right here interfaces, we could go ahead and edit that with a text editor of our choice. And that's one way of configuring the IP address information for this Linux box. Or we could go ahead, since we have a graphical user interface right here, we could click on the network icon up here in the upper right-hand corner. From the drop-down, we could select Wired Connection. And then further, we could go down to Wired Settings. And with the Wired Connection highlighted, we could click on the Configure symbol in the bottom right-hand corner to configure those settings. If we wanted to have a static IP address, we could go ahead and specify that we don't want to use DHCP. We want to have a manually configured IP address. And then we can put in the IP address that we want to use. And in our case, what we want to use is we're going to use .109 for this Kali Linux box. It's got a 24-bit mask, so we'll put that in as well. And the default gateway is going to be my router at 192.168.1.1. For the DNS information, we're going to have you use the server at 192.168.1.111. And we're going to add a backup of 8.8.8.8, which is a Google server on the internet. Then we can click on Apply. And then we go ahead and close this. I'm going to use the ifconfig command, and we'll specify Ethernet 0, and we'll simply say down. We'll give it a second to bring itself down, and when it comes back up, it should be using the new information that we just configured for it. So we'll hit the up arrow key and back off the down, and we'll type in up and press enter. And now we type in ifconfig and press enter. Here's our IP address that we just statically configured. And if we do a ping out to www.google.com, this should verify whether or not DNS is working as well as internet connectivity. And the, re <laughs> okay. The reason that's very likely taking a little bit longer is that the primary DNS server at .111, the Windows 2012 server in my virtualized environment is not up. It's powered off at the moment. So it timed out, it went to the Google DNS server to do the name resolution. So I'm gonna do a control C to stop that. And now we have statically configured the IP address on our Kali Linux box as 192.168.1.109. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.